It's a new dawn in Accra, Ghana, as Nana Akufuado of the new Patriotic Party is sworn in as president after two unsuccessful attempts at the polls. Thousands of citizens, dignitaries and heads of state from across Africa were in attendance amid tight security. In his oath of office, Mr. Akufuado pledged to fix the economy docked by high public debt and inflation, while also promising to protect the public purse by getting value for money on services. We will reduce taxes to recover the momentum of our economy. The doors of Ghana are open again. The shutters are up again. There could not be a better opportunity to make in Ghana and to make it in Ghana. Ghana is open for business again. Many have applauded the 72-year-old who defeated incumbent John Dramani Mahama in a peaceful election a month ago, a rare peaceful transfer of power in a region plagued by political crisis. But it's not clear how the new president will be able to cut down on taxes and still stick to an IMF austerity plan that was a condition for the $918 million bailout. In the run-up to the December 7th election, there were concerns that the Electoral Commission, which was under a new management, would be politicized, but critics were proved wrong. Outgoing President John Mahama, in his final address to the Parliament, had outlined his achievements and challenges during his four-year term and appealed to Ghanaians to give the new government a chance. I can only say that I have done my best, given my all, and done so with the best of intentions for my God and my country. Our country, Ghana. This is why I stand here today, Mr. Speaker, holding the baton of leadership, prepared to pass it on with pride, goodwill, and determination to Nana Adudankwa Akufuadu. Analysts say the new administration will have to enforce fiscal discipline and deliver on election promises or face the same voter backlash Mahama faced in three years.